everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody having a great day today. Uh, today we have something that's never been on the channel before. Something very special. Very special. Not very special, but just another unit. Uh, we're going to get a nice snowmobile. I mean, we got plenty of snow here. Might as well, we haven't had snow around here like this in a, a while, maybe three years. So might as well go buy a sled while the snow's gonna stick around for a couple weeks. Usually it snows like six inches and then three days it's melted and everything. Cause Indiana's stupid. Like two years ago, it was like negative, negative 30 out. And then the next week it was like 50s, 60s. Like, idiot. Stupid Indiana. But it's supposed to be right around in the teens next couple weeks, so might as well go get a sled while the snow's gonna last. Whoa! Easy going around that corner there, a little Toyota Camry. Would have nailed you. Idiots. Get off the rumble strip. Idiot. So we're gonna make sure the compression's good and the rings are good. Because we ain't gonna have no bad rings in our snowmobile. It's got 3,000 miles on it, so it shouldn't have bad rings. But you know, this guy could have absolutely beat the Dale Divling, Dale Light Juniors out of it. So I doubt it. It's pretty clean. You, you guys will see it in the next couple of half seconds when I get there. Holy cow, what's with all these curves? It's like we're curving around a mountain. And there ain't no mountains in Indiana. The tallest hill's like 50 foot, and that's a sledding hill in town. What the heck? Look at this unit. What a unit. Oh, another unit in the bed. Let's get her unloaded and we'll show y'all what the heck is going on with this bad boy. thing starts up like half a pull. Doesn't even have to do with one full pull, it just starts right up. Alright. Oh! Getting her going already. Don't even have to start her. stall on it so
heck, she just died on me again. What a pile. This is what it did last time. What a freaking pile. Can we get 20 feet? Now she's seized again. Interesting. I actually hit the freaking stop button. What in Dale Jr. goes again. Well, she's done for getting her hauled by the old Polaris. Bad gum. Well, I was out riding around, went to the gas station, when I went to my dad's. Put 10 miles on the thing. Look at this. Something's something's a little locked up there, Hoss. So I guess it's going to be the Yamaha 500 Rebuild Series instead of the Yeehaw in the Snow Series. So let's tear this stupid thing apart. Let's give her with an old push with the old Ranger Danger here. It's not mine, you idiots. It's Kyle Schwartz's. It's not mine. Just, I'm just borrowing it. Let's give her a little push. Got to push her over there in the back part of the barn. Oh. There we go. Oh, that don't sound good. Alright, so we got the gal up here. Now we're gonna freaking pull it up here with the freaking bent tie rod 700 Raptor. Look at this. Wheels are straight. Oof. Big oof. You gotta turn the handlebars all the way to get this one straight. She's cold. to explain this pile of garbage already. Yeah, we had like zero and a half seconds to explain what the heck this thing was. And I had no time at all because it exploded. Or it broke already, two hours after getting it. So it shot to chance, boom! We got a Yamaha SX500R two-sounder. Blow it up. Oh yeah. I don't know. The guy bought it back in 2002 from a guy that ran like a motorsports dealership or whatever and 
Columbia City, and they went out of business. And um, so the guy drove this up in Michigan and put on like 2,000 miles in 2002 on this thing. And the guy bought it from him, or yeah, the guy that I bought this from bought it off him with like 2,000 miles, and the guy put like 1,000 miles on it in 20 years almost. And he said the last five years it's been sitting, and he's put 80 miles on it this winter already. So I got on her, you know, I was just, went to the gas station, ran out of freaking gas right before the gas station. Was cruising along, you know, just cruising, going back to my house. Freaking, <sighs> dies on me. I was like, what in Dale Jr.? What the heck? So I go to pull starter back up and it, it's like, seized. I was like, you piece of garbage. No, I was like, <laughs> Yanking on it a whole bunch and it finally went, so I wouldn't start. So I gave it a little bit of fuel. Freaking kept dying and misfiring like it was not running right. And then I finally got it going and I went about another 50 feet and, and then uh, got on it and then it went. And I was like, you pile of garbage. So I went to pull it again. Freaking seized. It's still seized. After like two days. Nothing. Nothing. It's clean sled though. Just need a little bit of rebuilding. It's like 300 bucks to rebuild it, but we gotta take it apart and make sure that's what it is. So, so it's a clean unit. Nice unit right here. No tears in the seat. Got a little compartment back here for all your belongings. Pretty roomy. Close that up immediately. Um, we've got hand warmers here. These things are awesome. Holy cow, I could feel them through my gloves. Like it was turned up to like right here and it was heating my hands right up. We've got a nice miles per hour. I've had it all the way up to 60, 65. That's how many miles I put on it. That's how many miles I put on it until it freaking broke. Piece of garbage. And I filled it all the way up with gas. Yeah, it ain't electric start. Just the pole starter. Seized right up. So let's pop the hood. <clears throat> Show you what's under here. <clears throat> we got two new spark plugs and a belt. A new air filter. And a big old muffly muffly. I've always wanted to see what these sound like without the muffler on it. So we're going to have to try that for sure. For another video probably. So what we have here, we're just going to take this frickin' head off immediately. Um, see what the heck the problem is. It's only like 10 bolts, so it shouldn't take more than two seconds. Yeah, so let's get her going, because we ain't got all day and we got snow that's going to be melting in a couple weeks, so we got to get as much riding in as possible. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Just a little... Spilling her all over. Caps, yep, holy cow, that don't look good. Whoa. Um. Oof. That was not supposed to do that. Big oof. All right. All right. That was easier than last time. Perfect. Ah, Dale. I'm gonna take the whole intake and everything off. Ah! That hurted. You piece of garbage. You need to open all the skin on my frickin' finger. <laughs> Let's take off the ones here on the intake here and we should be able to seed it right out. What are we leaking? Oh, that's antifreeze. Oh no. Come on out of there. Maybe we should take this exhaust off. 
Maybe that'll be a lot easier. It's going slowly, oh yes. Whew. Yes sir. Barely came off, but we got her. Yeah, there we go. Got her now. Woo! Ah, just wiggle, wiggle, and it'll come right out. Perfect! Come on, don't be a Karen! Cow, these pistons are garbage. Holy cow, these things are garbage for sure. Pull this boy up. Give her a yank and a jank. Pull this boy up. Come on. All right, so this is what we have. We got a piston that looks just fine. And then we have this guy, this little idiot here. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. So it's gotta be a plugged carb or something. So we'll get that fixed and get a new piston and everything. We'll get prepping. What is with my hair? Holy cow, I'm gonna put this bat on. Yeah, so uh, we'll get some new pistons ordered. Might as well change both of them while we're at it. And uh, we'll get back to y'all when we get the pistons in. We'll put the pistons in, get this thing back together, and get it running, and then rap, 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 rap across the United States in the snow. So yeah, let's put our tools away and then go work on the new truck, since that's what you guys are going to see in the next video. New truck. Yeah, so we'll see you all in the next video, boy!